Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, today is Saturday afternoon, and it's pretty late. It's like 3. I uh, did not go yard selling today. Instead, I helped my buddy with his yard sale. And then I went and had lunch and had to go. I, I actually bought some more lights for the garage. Uh, I haven't put them up yet. Hopefully, I'll get those up in the next few days, and then the garage will be well lit. But it is, like I said, 3 o'clock, a little past. The afternoon mailman will be here within the next hour hour and a half and we do have packages to do so let's get to it and see how many we can get done all right the first two items are both comic books got another one of these and the other one is uh hopefully in the dc slot it's an old one so it should be way back here there it is all right so the first is the winter men issue number two published by wildstorm we are going to ship that let me turn this on in a gemini mailer Tape it down so it doesn't get damaged, hopefully. At least not for movement. Alright, the Winter Men number two sold for $1.99 plus shipping. And it has been listed since August the 3rd of 2017. And it will ship at the 8 ounce rate. We'll mark that because our next item is also a comic book. Wind number one by James Tinian the four. We sold another one of these just a couple days ago. And like I said, from what I can tell, it looks like this might have been optioned for a TV show or a movie or something. So again, we'll tape it down so it can't move around. And it's going in a Gemini mailer as well. And I have several more of these, so I will relist. I'm going to go up a dollar on it. Uh... This one here sold for $8.75 plus shipping. And so I'm going to go ahead and list the next one at $9.75 plus shipping. This one didn't take very long. Uh, just a day or two. It was listed on May the 6th of this year, 2021. And it will ship at the 12 ounce rate. Okay, now we have a customer that bought two comic books. I believe they'll be in the Dark Horse section. Yeah, I'm wrong. Okay. John J. Okay. And it's all Justice League. Oh, you know, I think these are still in this stack that I listed a while back that I never bagged and boarded and put up yet. Yep, these are all Dark Horse. All right. Okay, I didn't issue... All right, let me go make sure that they did not also get issue one because I thought they had asked me about that. I'll be right back. All right, they had only got the two. So Johnny Quest, The Real Adventures, issue number three and issue number four. Same buyer. We'll put these in a, another bag. Here we 
go and tape it shut and these will ship in a Gemini mailer we'll tape it so it doesn't move around Tape's no good. Okay, and for these two comic books, they paid three dollars and sixty cents plus shipping. And both these were listed on the same day, uh, February the thirteenth of this year, twenty twenty one. So that stack's been sitting there for two and a half months, waiting to be bagged and boarded and put in the right slot. All right, twelve ounces. Our next item is a puzzle that will go out in a priority 1095 box. So I'm going to go ahead and get the box ready. I'm quite certain this is a puzzle that I have several of. So I'll be able to relist. But we'll make sure. Okay, I need a sheet of bubble wrap. Now let's go get the puzzle. And look at this. Look at that. Empty space. It is so nice to have some empty space there. And look at this here. Oh my goodness. Once I get rid of that scrap, and this stack here is scrap, get all that sent off to recycling, I'll be able to start putting boxes up there and put some tables here. Get going on this. Uh, all these, I think there's now 10 or 11 tubs of McDonald's toys. I'll be able to get going on that. All right. Let's see, I'm not seeing it. It's all the same. Hmm, okay. There's one other place. Oh, no, hold on. Right there. Still in a case. All right, so yeah, I've still got six more of these left. So we can easily relist. But... I'm quite happy about the extra space in here. I took, uh, basically it was two completely full truckloads. Uh, the bed of the truck was filled, the back seat area was filled, and I filled the passenger seat to the roof. All right, uh, th don't think I showed you this. Here you go. It's the Princess of Light puzzle by Shu Mizgauchi. But it's made by Serendipity Puzzles. It is new and sealed. There we go. And it's sold for $19 with free shipping. And it has been listed since October the 25th of last year, 2020. And like I said, I can relist it. And it will ship at the pound 15 rate. Okay, now we have a couple action figures. First one is a loose wrestler. And the next one is an in the package Spider-Man. Okay, let's start with the wrestler. It's Antonio Caesar. He is loose, but in good shape. We're going to ship him in an 864 box. piece of bubble wrap cut it in half and then uh, lay him in and fold these sides around 
going to fold and roll this. But this keeps him from moving around in there. All right, and Antonio Caesar here sold for five dollars and sixty-five cents plus shipping, and has been listed since September the twenty-sixth of last year, twenty twenty, and will ship at the eight-ounce rate. Now, for the Spider-Man figure, we're going to ship him in a ten ninety-five priority mailbox. I'll have to get another package of these down. There you go. It's part of the Silver Age was the series name. Uh, previews exclusive. As you can tell, the cardboard is really bent. So I sold this as loose and complete, not new and sealed. I need to put him in a tieback envelope. And now we need two pieces of bubble wrap. The first one we fold twice long ways and put it over the top, the entrance of the box, and then slide the figure right on in. And then for the second one, okay, this piece of tape always does that. I'll use the very end piece maybe. Where is it at? There we go. I'll use this very end piece now that's highly deformed. And, uh, oh yeah, this is the short way. We want to fold it three times. And put it in there. And so that prevents any and all movement. Okay, and for the Spider-Man figure, he sold for $17.75 plus shipping and has been listed since May the 3rd of this year, 2021, and will ship at the 15-ounce rate. All right, now we have to look and find a Hunter Green collared polo shirt. Uh, it's a 2XL. That's a long sleeve. Okay. We got a whole shelving unit here in front of shirts, which doesn't help a whole lot. Let's see, there's... Nope. Nope. Maybe this will be it. Yep. Alright, this is the one. Hunter Green... Red Horse, 100% cotton, 2XL. It is Polo Ralph Lauren. Let's go get it done up. And then we're also doing a customer that bought five comic books. And I went ahead and did the pull on that so you wouldn't have to wait through it. This shirt, even though it's a 2XL, might be light enough to go first class. Let me get it folded here and... We shall see. It's been listed for quite some time. <clears throat> oh, yeah. So let's get a eBay poly miller. There we go. For some reason, these eBay poly miller bags I seem to have issues you know with stuff not just sliding right on in real easy but we got it done it's in there and this shirt sold for $24.99 plus shipping and it has been listed since August the 23rd of 2017 and it'll ship at the 15 ounce rate and then our five comic book buyer, Robotech 2, The Sentinels, uh, book three, issue number five, issue number three, 
Robotech Invid War, issue 10, and issue 8, and then Robotech Masters, issue 21. So we'll get these paired and flipped and everything, put them in a Tyvac envelope. I've already written uh, Do Not Bend on the legal flat rate envelope we'll use. And now we need a Gemini mailer. Let's tape this down so it doesn't move. There we go. Okay, and for the five Robotech comic books, the buyer paid $7.85 plus shipping. And they've all been listed basically since June the 19th of 2019. There might have been a few days difference in them, but not much. We'll get this taped up. The afternoon mailman just came by so this stuff here will be waiting until Monday but we'll go ahead and get it packaged give the customer a tracking number all right we don't have to weigh this we're nowhere near the weight limit all right now we have a video game PlayStation 3 uh, Bayonetta and we have a Marvel bust, a Bowen bust. Let's see. The Nightcrawler. Alright. Bayonetta is complete. And is going to ship in an 864 box. And I'll need a half a piece of bubble wrap. Actually, with the PlayStation 3s, I need a whole sheet. Because they lay down flat in the box. So, we'll let it lay on down. And then we roll this one. Fold in all these loose edges. And that's it. And Bayonetta... Sold for $13.75 with free shipping and was listed on November 10th of last year, 2020. And will ship at the 8 ounce rate. Now I have to get more bubble wrap so we can do the Nightwing. So I will be back. Okay, uh, for the Nightcrawler bust, I would use a 1086 box, but I'm out. I'm waiting on them to come in. This one was limited to 5,000. It had been displayed. And this was part of the uh, action figure toy kind of collection I bought back in uh, March, I believe it was. So I'm putting it in a 1266 box instead, since I don't have the uh, 1086. And a 1210.8 would just swallow this thing. It'd be so much extra padding. And the bust, of course, is in, in, in a styrofoam block inside the Nightcrawler box. So it's very well protected. Alright, and the Nightcrawler bust sold for $83.75 plus shipping. And was listed on May the 5th of this year, 2021. And it will ship at the pound 15 ounce rate. And now we have another action figure is this one it's a 12 inch daredevil now, i believe the clothes are really leather uh, from the daredevil movie with ben affleck it is new in the package 
and this packaging is actually in pretty good shape it has some scuffs but this one finally sold and the great thing is i bought another one of these in the collection from march so now i can just take new pictures of the newest one and just click sell similar and let me get another piece of bubble wrap so i do like being able to do the sell similar and relist you know just selling those multiples is nice it fits very nicely this is a 1612 ebay branded box and i had three pieces of bubble wrap laying down to begin with and daredevil sold for fifty dollars at 75 cents plus shipping and he has been listed, he's been listed since october the 6th of 2020 and the good thing is he's just going here in texas so uh, should not be too expensive to ship him he'll ship at the four pound rate and that's it we are up to the minute right now okay we just sold a playstation 2 disc only game it is Final Fantasy VII, Dirge of Cerberus. So, disc only, in a generic case. I will put that in a used comic book bag. And this is part of all the PS2 games I listed, or cleaned and listed, you know, two or three days ago. Ship it in an 864 box. of bubble wrap And this game disc sold for $12.75 with free shipping. And it was listed two days ago on May the 7th of 2021. And will ship at the 8 ounce rate. Okay, we just sold a postcard from C20. It is the street view of a hotel. That one's it. Yep. Okay. Put these back in C20. And get a postcard mailer. Alright, so the Adams Hotel in Phoenix, Arizona. And it does have writing, but no postmark. It has a swastika right there. I don't know if that's why it's sold or not. Uh, it's not the Nazi swastika, just a, you know, it was used before them. All right, that postcard sold for $10 plus shipping. And it's been listed since april the 14th of 2019 so now we'll go get this packaged in an 864 box need that I was going to try that, I don't know what's called, eBay card 
rate or something. Uh, but it says the address needs to be parallel to your longest side. And I tried several times. I could not get my printer. Oh, I need a piece of tape there. To uh, print that way. I changed the landscape, portrait. Um, I did a whole bunch of stuff. And so I don't want to ship that card rate and then, you know, get like a $10 charge or something because the address is perpendicular to the longest side. So I'm going to just ship it the way I normally do. And this will ship at the 4 ounce rate. Alright, that is going to do it for me today. A pretty short day here in the shop. Uh, but we are up to the minute on packages. And I did do the relist. Now I'm going to go and help my buddy who had the yard sale today. Help him pull everything in. And then, uh, then I'm done. So I hope you all have a good night. And we'll see you tomorrow to do a few packages up. Bye bye.